Hey YouTubers, welcome back to the channel. Prepping on a budget, sub appreciation contest, my friend Lynette. Uh, I, I want to tell you guys something. Uh, she and I have corresponded and I really enjoy her channel and she uh, really has informative information. If you haven't been there before, please go. Uh, she wanted a video response and uh, this is my building, as you can see, uh, my shop building, a large building, matter of fact, it's 36 by 45. And I thought this would be a really good uh, building to use for rain collection. Uh, so I could uh, save the rainwater. And uh, most of you have all seen these type of rain barrels. This is, this is not mine, by the way, this is just an example. Mine's gonna be a lot larger. But the one thing that I really uh, was excited about was a um, little thing called a down flush. And I had found it on one channel, and that one channel only had one video. And it gave me an idea on how to build this, and I kind of want to go through this with you so uh, you'll understand what it is. This is going to be mounted on the building, about in that location right there. The downspout's going to be cut off just above the uh, top of that uh, box you see on the top. And uh, uh, rainwater is going to go down this tube and go all the way down. And what it's going to do is it's going to fill this big tube up. And what the purpose is, is that like debris, uh, maybe uh, bird droppings, anything that's contaminated is gonna fill this tube up first. And what's unique about it is, is there's a ball inside. And the ball is uh, quite a bit smaller than this pipe, but it will stop up that pipe where it uh, changes sizes. And then once it stops the pipe up, all the dirty water will be down at the bottom and then the clean water will divert over and go down this pipe into the rain barrels. Now, it's even made to where uh, mosquito larvae or mosquitoes cannot get inside this thing to lay their larvae inside your rain barrels. Now, we have a real bad mosquito problem around here, so that's that's really important uh, to do. But let's, uh, let's get this thing down here, and maybe I can kind of show you how it's built and uh, the pieces. Okay, now, you can see the box, and on the top is uh, kind of a diversion screen. This is just a a screen to catch any type of leaves or anything like that to keep them from getting in the box. Now, down here, as you can tell, it's not a real pretty sight, but that's all uh, a window screen that's in there, and I've caulked it around to seal it off so the mosquitoes cannot get down in there. And if debris does get down in there, I can just pull this top off and pull out any kind of debris that might get down inside there, like the leaves or dirt or anything like that. Uh, like I say, if a leaf falls on it, it may be wet and may stick to it, but as it dries and the wind gets to blowing, it's just gonna, it should just fall off. Now let's look at the other end here. The other end of the pipe has got a drain hole in it. And uh, the purposes for this drain hole is, is once that pipe fills up and starts diverting during the rain, uh, after the rain quits, the water's gotta get out of the pipe so that the uh, uh, ball stopper can float back down to the bottom. And that's what the little hole's for. It will let all, all that water inside that big pipe to drain out. Now there's another mosquito screen, as you can see. Let me see if I can tilt this over so you can see that ball. Maybe I can adjust this camera. There you go. That's just a rubber ball that I bought at a, uh, a store in the kids' department. And uh, it, it works really good. I've tested this thing, and it, and it just, like I say, it just works great. And uh, you really need one of these. Uh, Dova Can, I'm guessing is the way you pronounce that channel. He has one video. I'll put a link on here. And uh, thanks again, Lynette, so much for uh, your channel.